What is up, YouTube? This is Zach and Chris with Dream Media Home Theater, and we are out here unboxing the Ultra Bookshelf Speaker from SBS! Get excited. <laughs> I'm gonna unbox it. Chris is gonna give you the details. If you're not a subscriber already, smash the subscribe button down below and give us a big thumbs up. Let's do it. I'm laughing because if you guys saw him like 10 seconds ago, he wasn't like this. So. <laughs> I do it for you, YouTube. All right, guys. So this is the Ultra Bookshelf from SVS. This is their uh, premium type of offering that they that, that that they have. You have this in three different finishes. You have piano black, which is what this one is. Uh, piano white, which is really cool as well. And they also have the um, less shiny um, black ash. So with this one, you're going to have a six and a half inch driver. And in the unboxing, you're going to have your grill. And these speakers are 500 a piece. So it doesn't matter which finish you get. It's just 500 across the board. So this box is going to be a thousand dollars. This is the grill registration, which is key. That leads me into our next thing, guys. Whenever you're purchasing online, you got to buy from an authorized reseller. If you're uh, buying from somebody that's not authorized and something happens to your amazing speaker, you're not covered. So give us a call. Another thing included in that box or that package that he just had are those little neoprene feet. Basically, it protects this unit since it's high gloss. It protects it on, if you put those on the bottom, um, it protects the bottom against scratches and different things like that. So if you want to move them around, that's a consideration to think about. Yeah, you'll definitely want to put these on there. Um, they're just little, little rubber feet. Yeah, guys, so Chris is a diehard SBS fan, and he knows everything about this brand, which is why he is going to be your go-to guy. You have any questions you need to purchase, give him a call. He will get you hooked up. Yeah, guys, we're going to go ahead and leave all the information down in the description, so um, it's going to be easy to contact me directly um, to actually get you into these um, if, if you would like to go ahead and purchase some. Hey, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so here's the first one, looking really nice. Yeah, you got the five-way binding post on the back of it, like I was talking about. You have that uh, um, six and a half inch driver, one inch aluminum, uh, dome tweeter. It's a just fit and finish, it's just a nice product, and you have a kind of like a scalloped type of front fascia as well. Um, overall, I really enjoy the appearance of this one. The sound that comes out of them is just amazing as well. Um, I, I've had this, I personally own this in my home theater. I have a 9.2.6, home theater and it's all, well, not all SVS. I have some Bowers and Wilkins speakers as the rears for just for right now. But I will be, if, if you guys want to help me out, <laughs> try to try to uh, answer this question. Should I get another set of ultra towers for my rear surrounds or should I get a set of ultra centers for my front wides and then still use these as my rear surrounds? So let me know down in the comments. This is a ported speaker. Yeah. Check it out. Back goes seven. from 40, it's, it's a one, one and a half inch port on the back of that thing. And uh, you're going to have 45 hertz all the way up to 32 kilohertz, five-way binding post on the back, gold-plated terminals. Uh, they're not push, push terminals. I would highly recommend uh, for you guys, uh, if you want to go ahead and remove that jumper, then if you are going to be doing that, make sure you replace it with a high quality uh, jumper um, speaker wire as well. Yeah, this is for by wiring, guys. So it's an 8 ohm speaker, um, 87, hertz, or 87 decibels of sensitivity, recommended amplifier powers any, anywhere between 20 and 150 watts. I run mine on 108, 180 watts, no problem at 8 ohms. So the, these things can take the, uh, take the juice. Overall, the cabin dimensions are going to be 15 by 8.5 by 10.6. Might as well open them both up for you guys so you can see the full experience here. Yeah, I made a mistake. Apparently this is a 1.7, so not a 1.5 um, port on the back. So um, you don't necessarily need to have these too far away from the wall. Um, so take that as consideration. But if you do want to have these right butted up against the wall, the only one of these speakers in the entire series that, is, that are going to come with a wall mount are going to be the ultra surrounds. So these are the ultra bookshelves. Ultra surrounds are going to be like a bipole, dipole type of setup. And it comes with an actual mount that you can flush mount it on the wall and it can butt it right up against it. All right. Well, that is a wrap. 
I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it informative in helping you make a buying decision. If you'd like to purchase an SBS product, we are your go-to company. Give us a call. Chris, we'll be happy to help you out, and uh, we, we'll even get it shipped out free for you. Now, if you liked it, give us a big thumbs up on this video and subscribe down below. Until next time, this is Zach and Chris with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching.